Hi, welcome to my first ever video tutorial. So please go easy on me. Um, please give me some feedback. Uh, today I'm going to be painting a simple mug in black and white so that you can see the whole process from start to finish. Um, colour probably deserves a video of its own if I get that far. Um, this is just the way I paint, the things I've learnt, my shortcuts. Very basic. Uh, I do um, more in-depth tutoring. If you're interested in that, you can just send me a message. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, now we're going to get started here. I've got um, just a, a thicker brush, like a a larger brush that will apply more paint and I've got a smaller detailed brush that's how I like to paint um, and I'm just gonna take some of that water off because if I go and use that the way it is it's just gonna kind of um, blob and be hard to control so you want to keep your paint brushes neat you need to know what's on the end of your brush how much water's on there how much paint is on there etc so um, when I paint, I start with darks and I go from left to right. So I'm going to start on this part here, then I'm going to go down here into here and then across there like that um, or like that. Um, so I'm just going to take my dark color first. Um, so with, with um, painting realism if that's kind of what you're going for and if it's not then that's totally fine to like sometimes I I, they're, they're, I used to paint more realism than I do now now I kind of wing it a bit um, but um, generally you want to uh, you want to start with the darks and then layer everything so you can see there I just put a little bit of white there and I'm blending it into that black. Blending is everything pretty much when it comes to art uh, and when it comes to realism. I'm also looking at this picture just as much as I'm looking at this picture because if you do want to try and make it look realistic you have to really study this um, and that can take some time to train your eye. So I move this around as well to make it easier on myself. So um, left to right kind of this is the first layer so I'm just blocking in colors um, and then uh, after that once it's dry I'll do the second coat and refine everything so um, no pressure to get things spot on at the moment so I'm just finishing up with the dark first um, You'll notice I've put some grey in here as well, just as I've been going along. Um, another thing that I'll mention with painting is with your darks and your lights, um, that's really how you create depth and highlight, obviously. So um, you think of your dark as special and your white as special, and you'll use lots of in between. But you really only want to make it really dark where it needs to be really dark. And if you look at this picture, you'll see that you've got this pure white little fleck here that I'll put in here. So I'm just gonna leave that little space empty to keep it white. Um, and I'm just gonna make this all gray and then this white um, and that'll be pretty much my first coat. Okay, so um, it's had a chance to dry, so I'm going to go over it again um, with my paint. Um, I'm just doing this in black and white just so that I can get the technique um, and just the process um, here for, for you guys to see. Um, there, I can see a lot of purple in here. I can see purple here. There's a little bit of yellow here. It's kind of hard to see, um, but, you know, you do... Um, end up training your eye to be able to see these things over time. So um, I'm just going to keep this black and white though today just to, to keep it simple. So I'm going to put um, all this white here, 
put white there and just smooth out all of the rough kind of looking um, paint areas. You'll also notice with the second layer, um, what I'm doing is I'm getting my paint and I'm just putting some water into that to make it, to make it a bit um, thin it out a little bit because when I apply it to the paper or to the canvas, um, you kind of want it to spread quite easily because the first one, the paint is quite thick, whereas the second layer and the layer after it, if you do that, um, you're definitely going to want it um, more, more translucent so you, you can push it further. There's, a, there's actually a name for this, I just can't remember what it is, where you kind of, this is the technique. So you're kind of pushing the paint right in like that and then making it wet again will just help it all blend. Blending is so important when you want to paint realism. So just blend, blend, blend all that in. I'm going to keep going like that. So there we have the second layer pretty much um, finished. You can already see that it's softened a lot. Um, it's still not perfect. There's still a lot of these edges that aren't um, sharp. And um, uh, there's also, yeah, just bits here and there that still need detail. You can see this little line here. I, st I still need to put that in. There's also a little round thing of light here, there's a little round thing of light. There's also this little piece of light here, here and here. This little speck of light here and here. And just some of that detailing around there, around there that we'll, we'll add on the last layer with the, with the fine brush. So I just wanna show you some of the finer details I'm working on, just so you can learn to kind of see them. If you look really close here, if my camera will focus, you can see this light kind of line there. I think that's actually a reflection. It's these kind of little things that once you pop in there make a huge difference. You can already see the difference just these little little bits are making um, which is kind of what we do after we've smoothed it all down. I could keep going and smooth all this over more um, but really this paint is not not much fun to work with. Um, so I might try a little bit more but then I'm going to put in um, this little line here um, this little dot, there's a little line here as well. I don't know if you can see that. This is going to be in the comment section, this photo. So if you'd like to use it as well, you can. Um, you can see there's this little bit of texture going on down the bottom. And then, of course, this shadow that I'm going to fix up as well. So they're, they're just the little details that I'm going to be working on right now. Okay, so that is about all I'm going to do on this one. Um, I wanted to show you some of the uh, finer um, points of this that I'm, I'll am i pick out perhaps as probably what not to do. <laughs> um, see these messy edges? If I was to be actually painting this, um, I would have painted in a background and I would have cleaned up all these edges, see how they're not sharp. Sharp edges are really important and you can see bad quality paint because this isn't even holding the paint properly. This is a good quality linen canvas. This is cheap acrylic paint that I use to basically slap on abstract stuff when I feel like it. So the quality of that doesn't really matter for that kind of thing for me. But for this um, blending, it's, it's all about quality. So just keep that in mind. Um, yep, yeah, so that's it. That's our, that's our cup. Definitely not the same, but that's the process all in all. Um, I hope it was helpful. Thanks so much for watching my first ever tutorial. Um, I'm no filmmaker, so <laughs> thanks for hanging in there. Um, let me know if there's any uh, questions that you might have. Uh, I'd love to try and help you. Thanks again for watching. Bye.